Good evening, people, world, whoever, whatever. Anyway, what I got here is the failure to tub communicate. <laughs> anyway, I ended up cutting, uh, <clears throat> cutting, whipping out the plasma cutter, cutting these out. So as you can see, I ended up the edge of tire. I went, ended up going there to there. Oh, she's. Do that at home. I'm a professional. Anyway, edge of tire. Oh, that hurts. Edge of tire. So as you can see, a little off. That's all right. Oh man, <laughs> it's cold out here, and now my foot feels like it got cut off. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, oh, man, that hurts. So yeah, ended up cutting it. Uh. It's not the best shape, I guess you could see, but it is the shape that I'm going to use. So, uh, yeah, now I'm going to cry. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, and then I ended up grinding it, uh, doing whatever. Man, my foot might be bleeding. Hold on. All right, nope. It's just cold out and I'm a big baby. Anyway, uh, yeah, I got the fourth gen exhaust here. I drove it around forever and ever, probably like 170 some miles to get the readiness codes to set and three still need to set. However, I am going to go to AAA and everything. I did get my plates for the Audi. Ate my fogo. <laughs> Ate my fogo. I don't know. That's just the plate they gave me. I was hoping it'd be a black plate to go with the black car. So anyway, uh, yeah. What I'll do? Oh, I ended up taking these little runners, these little angle iron things that were along here. I took those off with a uh, chisel and a hammer. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, I was just bored. Kid isn't home from work or from wherever he's at. Um, so I just decided to do some stuff. Since I got a wide open garage, now I could do junk. Um, <sighs> yeah, uh, what was I going to say, what was I going to say? Oh, I did get a call about the uh, 6.7 motor right there. The guy wants to buy it. So, funny thing is, funny thing is, I've been trying to find a uh, shipping container, and uh, the guy has shipping containers and has a delivery business for shipping containers, and um, just so happened he wants to, I don't know officially yet, but he wants to buy the motor. He wants to give me, I told him I want $1,500 just for the core because his motor threw a rod. So his motor is junk. I can't do anything with his motor. If I can't do anything with a complete motor, I don't want it. So I don't want another hunk of scrap metal. So you'll have to give me $8,500 because I'm asking seven grand for this motor, um, which is pretty cheap considering. Um, so he said he'd give me... The 8500 is no big deal, but he doesn't have anybody to put it in. So he asked if I would put it in, and I said, well, I don't really have time, it's a big mess. But then I was thinking about it, maybe I can get a shipping container out of him, a 40-footer. Um, so I'm kind of wanting to text him back since I'm off for four days next weekend. <clears throat> if he can come up with the money, I will put the motor in. This way you guys get to see the motor run and start up for its first time. I'll have to use his uh, engine adapter plate, flex plate. I believe everything's the same. He has a uh, 4500. I'd have to check on that. So I'd have to use his computer, his, uh, his adapter plate, 
Um, but I'll check on it to make sure. I told him I would check to see, make sure it fit. It's a 2008, and as far as I know, from 07 and a half to 12, actually 07 and a half and newer, should be the same motor. But anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to do this quick little video. Get Project Crack Pipe rolling, and uh, I think I will be ordering a four link suspension four link for the rear it's uh, technically five well I'm gonna do the parallel the parallel arms or whatever <laughs> where they got uh, I don't know two arms going like this on either side and then you have the pan hard bar or whatever you want to call it so I think I will order that um, I did find a kit a reasonable kit on eBay one and a half inch diameter uh, 1.5 something thickness um, I don't know I think it's just over eighth inch fit 5 16 or something like that no not 5 16 that's too big um, 5 30 seconds I don't know anyway it's just a little thicker than the eighth inch diameter or eighth inch thickness wall um, and it's all weld yourself I don't think I can find the Himes bushings and tubing. I could probably get the tubing from uh, my local metal shop. Um, but Himes and everything, I'm looking at Heim, Heim joints and, you know, uh, just stuff like that. And uh, it's going to cost me like 200 bucks. I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. This way it's just done. Uh, the brackets are done. The brackets just weld on. You can bolt them and weld them on, which is what I'll do. So, anyway. But anyway, that's it for, for this video, guys. Um, let me know. You guys excited to get this bed on? I'm kind of excited. I do need to go get steel so I can build a little H-frame or cross-frame cross there. I don't know. I'll probably just do one, two, and then I'm going to do some angle iron on the sides to support it. So, whatever. Alright guys, that's going to be it. Subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Later.